remember uh, this Aryan Khan case is the one which is once again uh, stung and is haunting Samir Vankare. NCB's vigilance department had forwarded a report to the CBI which led to the registration of an FIR against a former NCB Mumbai zonal chief Samir Vankare and five others. Now, so uh, what exactly are the CBI charges against him and others? Now, remember the CBI has booked six people in this case which includes Samir Vankare himself as per the CBI FIR. It has been alleged that the said persons, quote unquote, entered into a conspiracy in order to extort an amount of 25 crore rupees from the family members of the alleged accused in the case that's of course Aryan Khan, the son of superstar Shah Rukh Khan. This is regarding the drug ship cruise case and uh, the now, FIR or the case also says that Vankare had threatened them of accusation of offences of possessions of narcotic substances as per the alleged direction of then zonal director being the supervisory officer. A token amount of 50 lakh has bribe allegedly was also obtained in furtherance of this conspiracy by the said persons. Remember, Vankare headed the Narcotics Control Bureau in Mumbai at the time of Arun Khan's arrest. And he was later transferred to the Directorate General of Taxpayer Services in Chennai in May last year. All right, my colleague uh, Shivani and Bhavtosh both are joining us live on the broadcast. First of all, let's go across to Shivani. Uh, Shivani, ex-NCB chief Samir Vankade, of course, uh, is at a tough spot. Arun Khan case has once again come back uh, to haunt him. The CBI has booked Samir Vankade. Take us through uh, the charges against him, what the vigilance report had to say, what the CBI charge sheet now says, and exactly what's the defense coming in uh, from the side of Samir Vankade because now he claims that he's being punished for quote-unquote being a patriot. Uh, well, uh, firstly talking about Samir Vankhede's uh, statement that he has told Times now that he does not really know much about the CBI case. The agency has not approached him. But the kind of race those are going on are not only haunting him but are affecting his kid and the family is what the officer has to say. But on the other side, he also says that he want to cooperate with the agency but there is nothing. It is all a baseless allegation. Those are against him and it is a conspiracy against him. But at the moment of time when the CBI had conducted raids at 29 locations across the country. Not only that they have seized a, a certain amount of cash, but they have also seized several other documents as well. But interestingly, the vigilance report of 3,000 pages that was sent by the NCB officials as a, by themselves to the Central Home Ministry in November last year, it mentions several allegations against Samir Wankede. They have leveled several questions as to how a private person named Kiran Gosavi entered the raid location of uh, NCB, how come he portrayed himself as an NCB officer and not only that, if he was in witness then how can he drag one accused that is Aryan Khan, we had seen the visuals right then when Aryan Khan was arrested that it was Kiran Gisavi who brought uh, Aryan Khan in his own personal car had dragged him to the NCB office and later Aryan Khan was declared arrested it was Aryan Khan's selfie with the Kiran Gosavi that went viral at that particular time and that is what the vigilance report also questions that how how come a witness can meet one accused, can take selfie with him, can record an audio clip as well with the uh, accused in the matter and how he was given so much of access to enter and drag the accused in the NCB office without any uh, strong hand over his head. So clearly these are the questions against him and also interestingly the vigilance report has leveled question against Samir Vankede and all those people who had conducted raids at the Cordelia cruise back then and had arrested Aryan Khan along with other three friends of his. That uh uh, not only Aran Khan was arrested, but there was a conspiracy charge against him. There was a drug peddling charges against him. Those are not there on the other accused in the matter. So clearly, uh, Aran Khan was made a main conspirator in the particular matter, which uh, remains a question before Samir Wankede. Uh, interestingly, they have also said that it was entire conspiracy that Kiran Gosavi had clearly demanded crores of rupees from uh, Pooja Dadlani, personal manager of uh, Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan, and a certain amount of money was taken taken by her in cash and that is why all the WhatsApp chat, all the CCTV footages, the monetary trail has clearly been mentioned in the vigilance report and that is what has made the CBI register a case against Samir Wankede and interesting part would be that how Samir Wankede comes before the central agency CBI and reacts to all this allegation to which he is now calling a conspiracy against him.